This tutorial is going to show you how to share your Google site with somebody else, making them either an owner, a collaborator, or a viewer. Now you might be wondering, why would I want to share my Google site? Well, Google Sites is an example of a very powerful tool called a wiki. A wiki is simply a web page, or a collection of web pages, in which multiple users can edit its contents. It's a very powerful tool that allows for unique collaboration on the internet between a group of people. Now so far, you've learned how to edit your page, how to add a new page, how to add pictures, how to add attachments, how to edit the sidebar navigation, and also how to change the layout of your website. Well, now you can invite somebody else to do the same thing. To get started, we're going to go ahead and open up our web browser. And now I'm already signed into my account. And as you can see, I have three sites. I'm going to go ahead and click on this site called Radford Education Group. And now I wish to share this with somebody else. So I'm going to go up to Site Settings and share this site. Now, as you can see, it brings you to this screen in which you can invite someone as an owner, a collaborator, or a viewer. Now, if you invite them as a viewer, they're only going to be able to look at the page. They won't be able to make any changes. A collaborator will be able to create, edit, and delete pages, move pages, add attachments, add comments, add or remove pages to the sidebar navigation, or subscribe to site and page changes. If you invite them as an owner, they can invite other owners, collaborators, or viewers, change site themes and layouts, they can change the site name, they can delete the site, and they can also do all the other things I mentioned that a collaborator can do. I'm just going to go ahead and invite someone as an owner so they can do all those things I mentioned. And in this box, I'm going to type in the email address of the person I want to invite. You can type in multiple email addresses and separate them by commas if you'd like. I'm going to go to invite these people. And this is going to give me a message box where I can just type a quick message to the person I'm sending the email. Please join my site. I'm going to send this email. And now my email has been sent to the person I want to share the site with. I'm going to go ahead and log out of this account. And I'm going to go over to the email in which I sent that message. And as you can see, this person has gotten an email. And it says, please join my site, along with a link. And now this person can click on this link and I'll bring them to the sign-in page. Now in order to be a collaborator or an owner on this website, you have to have a Google account. And so if the person does not have a Google account already, they can simply create one here. I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with this new account. Now as you can see, this new person I sent the email to can now go onto the Radford Education Group website. Now they can make all the changes you've learned about in these last three tutorials. They can edit their page, they can edit the layout, and do all the things they want to because they are now an owner of this site. But I'm simply going to teach you now how to add a comment to a web page because comments are really important when communicating between parties. You simply just click on the comments icon here and it gives you this space. I'm just going to type, I like this site. I'm going to add that comment. And so now this comment will appear to anybody else that's sharing the site. I'm going to log out of this person's account. And I'm going to sign in one more time to the first account I was in. And I'm going to go ahead and check out the Radford Education Group site now that changes have been made. Over on the left here, you can see recent site activity. And this tells you exactly what's been going on. So it says there was a comment from MP Dunham. And look at that. There's a comment from MP Dunham saying, I like this site. Now I can respond to this comment saying, thanks, and adding the comment. So now Matthew Dunham has made a comment. And you can keep going like that. Anybody that's a part of this website can add their input to this so that everybody can look and see what suggestions have been made and what improvements can be made to this site. I'm going to go ahead and show you one more thing. I'm going to go to my sites. And I'm going to show you the, sites that, the site we have set up for this project we're doing for these tutorials just to kind of show you what an advanced web page will look like. This one has all these different sections over here, and I'm going to go to the Gmail section. And now you can see all this stuff that we've put on our web page. And at the bottom here, there's a bunch of comments. And this is a full conversation that's occurred over a period of two to three weeks between all of us in this group. And it really allows you to help each other out and to ask any questions you might have without having to email specific people. You can, you can just post a comment and everybody is able to see it instantly. So in this tutorial, you've now learned how to share your Google site with somebody, making them either an owner, a collaborator, or a viewer. 
And now you should be able to use this powerful tool to get a group of friends or a group of coworkers, make a site, and just collaborate together to communicate either to your students or to each other on the things you want to be doing. This concludes our set of four video tutorials on how to use Google Sites.